All right, fun little leg day. Well, actually, it's just a, a part two of leg day. More hamstrings. I did do a couple exercises that does incorporate a little quads, but the main focus there was to stretch the hamstrings, stretch the fascia, keep the best range of motion I possibly can. Um, and then, you know, I'm, I'm fine with other muscles coming into play. This is the second leg day, right? This is the second portion of the leg day, second leg day. Um, Man, lots going on though. It's, it's, I remember when I bodybuilded and I lived the life, well, no, I never really lived the full life of a bodybuilder. I never was the train, go home, nap, eat, sleep, train, come back, you know. I've always been on TV shows, I've always been doing other stuff, so I find that that may have set me up to be able to still do that today is yes, I'm getting ready. Yes, I'm getting ready, stage ready. But that does not mean that I'm taken away from the work, uh, my, um, my duties, uh, my job as a father. Uh, we're keeping everything going <laughs> um, as we are dieting like this. And I know that a lot, a lot of people say, I don't have that kind of time. Which is confusing to me because the most successful people I know these successful financially, but also their business, what they've incorporated, how many people they keep employed, uh, their family life. I'm talking the full circle. I'm not talking about one aspect of life. I, I, I actually don't find it impressive when somebody's just one aspect in life. Um, that's why I like the guys that uh, could do multitasking things as they are a pro at something. And so a lot of my friends are those guys uh, like Steve Siegel, he trains every day, five o'clock, but he also runs a, uh, uh, my partnership in Siegel, commercial real estate everywhere, nationwide and stuff, and then he also does pink box donuts, bagel mate. He has so many aspects of his business, but he also gets his workouts in. He also takes time for the family, he takes all the stuff, and don't do this shit, don't do this. Well, he's got money, he can do that. You, that's such a lame, you don't think, he was poor at one time? You don't think he struggled at one time to make that stuff? Of course we all did. Um, that's just such a lame excuse. I was this 20 year old kid working three jobs, still doing bodybuilding, still doing powerlifting, martial arts, and the gladiators, and still working on top of that. It's I mean, like, money doesn't get rid of 14 hour work days. Yeah, it, I don't know why it, you think it does. I don't know why you guys think it does. Just because you get money doesn't mean you stop working that. I actually work seven days a week. I work longer hours. I don't, I don't do nine to five. I do from eyes open to eyes closed. And I wish you guys would understand that this doesn't get easier. It gets more fun. And you enjoy this process. And if you're not, if you're not finding joy in this, all aspects of it, not just the training, then there's something missing. And I'll say this, you won't keep with the training because at some point you're gonna to have to take care of the financial part of this and the family part of this and the emotional part of this. And unless you're doing all those aspects of it, this is short lived. Um, that's it, man. You guys enjoy the day today. This is a fun little second workout. We are killing this dry out. This is fun, seriously fun.